Many people think that being healthy is a difficult task, involving months of dieting accompanied by hours at the gym. However, this is not actually true. By controlling your daily activities, anyone can remain healthy. It's not as hard as you might think. Water also clears your skin, helps your kidneys, helps to control your appetite, and keeps you energized. It also keeps you from drinking unhealthy beverages like soda and juice, which are high in calories. The body barely registers the intake of these unhealthy drinks and yet you still feel thirsty hundreds of calories later. If you need the taste, splash some lemon, lime, or 100% juice into your water. However, be sure that you eat plenty of calcium-rich foods, such as broccoli, to support healthy bones as you grow older. A light, healthy breakfast is sufficient enough to reap the benefits of eating early. If it's comprised of lean protein and whole grains, then it will keep you from gorging at lunch. Research shows that breakfast skippers actually eat more. So, to curb your appetite, don't skip the first meal of the day. If half of your plate is vegetables and fruit, you're on the right track. Add in lean protein, low-fat dairy, and whole grains. Once a steady eating pattern has been established, your body will feel more comfortable. There may be a period of time when your body is wondering where the sugary foods went, but once you're over the hump, you'll feel better than ever. A good time for a healthy, easy to digest evening meal is between 1700 hours and 2000 hours. It's best to avoid late night snacks because they fill you with unnecessary calories and can disrupt your sleep. If you do need that midnight snack, Stick to unsalted nuts, seeds, fruits, and veggies. In case you haven't noticed, meat hasn't played much of a role in what we've talked about so far. Being vegetarian is a good way to reduce your calorie intake and get loads of vitamins and minerals, but that being said, it can be done wrong. While it's not the best idea to go fully vegetarian, most people do eat far too much meat. A good idea is to change the amount and types of meat you eat, swap pork chops for lean chicken, steak for tuna. Processed foods get a bad rap, and often for good reason. However, you've got to choose your battles. That frozen bag of broccoli isn't nearly as bad as that boxed mac and cheese. In short, Avoid processed foods when you can, but if you can't, read the labels and watch for added bad stuff, salt, sugar, and fat. Get in shape. In addition to helping you lose. If you like the video, subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos. Check the description below and thank you so much for watching.